Uh, thank you. Hi, I'm Zi Zhijing from USS Lab, Zhejiang University. Today I'm going to introduce you our work, Unity is Strength, Benchmarking the Robustness of Fusion-Based 3D Object Detection Against a Physical Sensor Attack. In autonomous driving, perception security is a prior condition for safe driving, and the 3D object detection serves as the core basis of the perception stack. LiDAR and the camera are two sensors broadly used for 3D object detection. The fusion of these two complementary sensors is a common effort in both academia and the industry to enhance perception performance. According to Euler Intelligence, beyond 119 cars to be released with LiDAR and camera in 2023 or soon after. Previous security studies have demonstrated that LiDAR and the camera systems can be compromised by physical signals, such as laser, electromagnetic, and ultrasound. As an extremely safety-critical application, autonomous driving particularly requires enhanced robustness to address the corruptions that may arise in the physical world. Many preceding works in Top Tire Conference have considered the sensor fusion as potential countermeasures to the physical sensor attack. However, whether fusion can attenuate the attacks as anticipated remains an open question, lacking systematic research. One common practice for robustness analysis is to establish a benchmark. In recent years, substantial efforts have been di directed towards benchmarking the robustness of perception models. However, previous efforts have mainly focused on corruptions caused by adverse weather, digital noise, sensor failure, or adversarial perturbations, which are either unintentionally induced or physically unrealizable. In contrast, physical sensor attacks can be intentionally induced by attackers and represent realistic threats that sensors may encounter in the real world but there are no corruption data sets in terms of physical sensor attacks. With the above two motivations, we established a new benchmark with regard to investigating sensor fusion security under physical sensor attacks. We wish to experimentally answer the following research questions. Question one is, does fusion enhance robustness or not? Question two is, how does the architecture of the fusion model influence robustness? First, we detail how we design the benchmark. The most important part in robustness benchmark is the corrupted dataset. When designing the corrupted dataset, we aim to ensure the comprehensiveness and the physical feasibility. The first step of benchmark design is the corruption collection. We collect corruptions with regard of physical sensor attacks through a systematic literature review process. The SLR itself follows a three-step methodology comprising planning, conducting, and reporting. In planning, we design the query to search for the related work. In conducting, we use a series of steps to review above 1,300 articles and identify 22 that are relevant. In reporting, we extract and summarize 11 distinct types of corruptions from these articles. The second step of benchmark is uh, attack capability quantification. C this stage aims to ensure the uh, uh, designed corruption is physically feasible. Attack capability uh, encompasses both the uh, corruption pattern and uh, the manipulation abilities. First, we extract useful information by reviewing source papers to determine the pattern characteristics. Uh, some papers clearly describe the capability of attacks, while others do not. Second, for those which don't clarify the attack capability in their paper, we rep reproduce them on our physical testbed to ensure the physical feasibility, and further clarify each attack's capability. Uh, finally, we, for each type of corruption, we summarize the uh, at attack capabilities that are physically realizable. Based on uh, the previous defined attack attack capability, so we are now able to simulate the data corruptions caused by physical sensor attacks on a large-scale data set. Uh, for cameras, 
we propose uh, six types of corruptions. They are uh, saturation attacks and uh, projection attacks and the color strip injection, which induce uh, so these three attacks is induced by laser, and the truncation and the uniform color strip induced by electromagnetic, and the image blur induced by ultrasound. For LiDAR, we propose five corruptions, in which uh, four corruptions, including point erase, object injection, arbitrary points injection, and uh, background noise attack are induced by laser, and the uh, point interference attack is induced by electromagnetic. Uh, please refer to our paper for more details of these corruptions. Then we detail how we evaluate the robustness. We conduct extensive experiments on seven fusion models and five single sensor models with a corrupted dataset. Based on our experimental results, we compare uh, fusion-based models with uh, single sensor models to answer research question one, and we compare different fusion-based models to answer research question two. Before experiments, we define the robustness evaluation matrix. Firstly, same as the uh, Kitty benchmark, we, which broadly using uh, uh, self-driving, we use uh, average precision to describe the overall, overall performance of one model which we denote as AP. Then we define the robustness of one model on a corruption C as uh, RB sub C. So RB sub C can be calculated by dividing the AP when the model is exposed to corruption by the AP under clean conditions. Well, with the matrix and the data sets, based on evaluating beyond half million image point cloud frame pairs, we acquire the robustness of seven fusion-based models and five single modality models. First, let's focus on the research question one. Does fusion enhance robustness? To address this question, we compare fusion-based models with single modality models from two perspectives. The first perspective is single source robustness which refers to the average robustness of a model when facing attacks on a single sensor, such as the camera or LiDAR. This pr perspective is necessary because single modality models only expose to attacks targeting the sensors they use. We can, uh, we can observe that regarding single source robustness in comparison to the camera-based model, all fusion-based models enhance robustness against camera attacks. Relative to LiDAR-based models, five over seven fusion-based models also demonstrate increased robustness against LiDAR attacks. The second is overall robustness, sorry, uh, which refers to the model's mean robustness under all corruptions in this benchmark. This perspective is also critical and cannot be ignored when evaluating robustness. Uh, since given the increased diversity of sensors, the fusion-based models are exposed to a greater number of potential attack vectors. We can, ob observe, we can observe that in comparison to the camera-based model, six over seven models enhance robustness, but conversely, Six over seven fusion models do not enhance overall robustness when compared to LiDAR-based models. So the answer to research question one can be addressed. Regarding single sensor, single source robustness, the answer is yes. Yes, the, the fusion enhances robustness. Uh, most uh, most uh, fusion-based models indeed demonstrated enhanced robustness. While regarding overall robustness, the answer is yes and no. Because most fusion-based models demonstrate enhanced robustness compared to camera-based models, but expect weaker robustness when compared to LiDAR-based models. However, SOTA fusion models such as the furconf T are expected to enhance robustness across all aspects, showcasing the potential of uh, fusion in improving robustness. To answer research question two, we compare fusion-based models with each other, aiming to evaluate which fusion design is more robust. 
to uncover the relationship between model architecture and the robustness, we classify and rank models based on their fusion sequence and the data representation used in the fusion process. First, we classify models based on their fusion sequence. Some fusion models follow the sequential structure, which we refer to as a cascaded fusion. Most models process data from both sensors concurrently before the fusion operation, which we define as a parallel fusion. Uh, and the so fusion representation of camera and the LiDAR are various with different models, which can be data, feature, or result. For models with the same fusion sequence, we rank them based on the information entropy. Uh, in neural networks, basic operations like convolution, activation functions, and ROI pooling can result in information loss. From this, we intuitively derive that the information entropy of data is greater than that of feature, which in turn is greater than that of the result. Based on this understanding and the further analysis of model structures, we establish a relationship between models in terms of information entropy, as shown in inequality one and two. Uh, for a detailed explanation how this inequality are derived, please refer to our paper. Uh, based on our classification and the ranking of the models, we can establish a uh, correlation between model structures and their robustness. Okay, thank you. Uh, as shown in the left figure, uh, firstly, from the perspective of the fusion sequence, we observe that the parallel fusion generally shows better robustness than cascaded fusion. Secondly, with the same fusion sequence, we find that the more comprehensive the information contained in the fused representation, the stronger the robustness. Furthermore, we know that the different fusion architecture primarily influence the robustness to camera corruption. These three observations together form the answer to research question two. We summarize our contribution as a new benchmark, empirical evaluation, and insight for critical research questions. Thank you for listening. <laughs>